Hello and welcome to yet another episode of PT Revision Special Series. Now, I have covered so many topics down the line if we talk about so many topics have been covered in the last 7 to 8 days. I hope you are revising them. Let's start with the first topic of today that is the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. So, we have read time and again this particular species is under the schedule. One of the WPA, this particular species is under schedule. Second, so what is Wildlife Protection Act? It is an act that is determined to protect wildlife and of course to raise awareness amongst the citizens of India that wildlife is important and two articles. Before we begin, two articles are of utmost importance here. First is the Article 48A and second is the Article 51 Clause 1 Subclause G. Okay. So, if we talk about the first article, that is 48A, this is the directive principle of state policy and it wants the state to understand and protect wildlife as well as forests. It puts an obligation on the states, that is the government. And 51 clause 1 clause G, subclause G, it wants us, the citizens of India, because this is a fundamental duty, in order to protect and improve the wildlife and natural environment. So, Wildlife Protection Act spans across all over India. And animals such as amphibians, birds, mammals and reptiles are included. So, reptiles and amphibians, they lay eggs as we know. Eggs are also included in wildlife so that you may not have any confusion. Another thing that we need to discuss with respect to this article is the clause of animal article or trophy. Trophy is indicating towards any captive or wild animal that has been preserved by artificial or natural means. This could also include hunted animals, their fur, their skin, which is used as decorative items. So, these are known as trophy or animal articles. So, if I capture any tiger and I put it with myself, keep it with myself in a cage, that is also known as trophy. What are vermins? Vermins are such wild animals that are notified under Schedule 5. So, there are six schedule under Wildlife Protection Act. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So, 1 to 5, they talk about wildlife and number 6, schedule number 6 is particular to plants. Alright. So, wild animals that are under schedule 1 of the WPA, they get the highest amount of protection and these are the endangered species, very endangered species. And provisions for punishment is also included under this act. If any harm has been done to the wildlife, under this act, provision of punishment will also be there. So, the chief wildlife warden or the authorized officer to kill wild animals included in schedule 2, 3 or 4 in case of threat to human life or property or crop standing in the field or crippling or suffering from any disease which cannot be cured can, allow, can be allowed. Here, this paragraph is trying to make you understand if any animal under schedule second, third or fourth has threat to the standing crops, has threat to itself because it is suffering from disability, it has been crippled and also any other disease that is it has cannot be cured, then it can be killed. Okay, it's like a mercy. And vermin are those animals which are posing a threat to any region and they can be region specific and therefore according to the government they can be hunted and killed down. This is also known as legal hunting. Legal hunting. And in the schedule 5 we have certain animals such as common crow, fruit, bats, mice and rat. In schedule 6 we as I talked about we have plants such as bedrooms, sisad, blue vanda, kut, 
lady slipper orchids and pitcher plants and red vanda so these plants under schedule 6 they are mentioned because a license is needed under the wildlife protection act to cultivate these plants okay section 65 of the act it protects the scheduled tribes of andaman and nicobar if they hunt any wildlife protected areas are also included under this act that is sanctuary national park conservation reserve and community reserve let's move forward and talk about kazi 106f now this is a tiger okay also known as golden tiger or tabby tiger and it is known as golden tiger or tabby tiger so kazi ranga national park has the it is inhabited in the kazi ranga national park and golden tiger tabby tiger or strawberry tiger are certain names for it and due to recessive gene when two tigers of recessive gene are bred together we find this pale golden or reddish streaks on the body instead of the conventional black black streaks on uh, streaks on the body of the tigers general tigers okay now another thing that we need to understand and talk about here is the golden bird wing this is a butterfly okay so golden bird wing is india's largest butterfly found in uttarakhand the species female species wing span is greater as compared to the male golden bird wing and common windmill great windmill common peacock are other species of butterfly it could be asked in prelims like common peacock common windmill great windmill all these are the species of which of the following birds butterfly fishes or insects so we know it is butterflies then butterflies are key pollinators that means they are responsible and they are a species which help in the pollination and of course because of pollination reproduction in plants first pollinator plant first pollinator park is found in haldwani uttarakhand and first lichen park is in munsiari in uttarakhand so for butterflies only the first pollinator park has been formulated and first lichen park lichen are actually algaes which grow they are sort of an algae which grows on walls floors rocks and they are an indicator species so indicator species we will talk about them later okay i will tell you here only indicator species are those species which have a change in their own behavior and adaptive behavior because of the change in the environment for example corals second example lichen itself if there is more pollution lichens the growth of lichens will be hindered so these are indicator species moving on now let's talk about spialia zebra which is also a butterfly and here is the butterfly and it is found in the dungarpur region of rajasthan also in pok that is pakistan occupied kashmir and then khyber pakhtunkhwa and the punjab province of pakistan and this is designated as the 1328th butterfly of india and then so now we have another butterfly atrotho themis real c and this is a dragonfly as you can see it okay and it is found in the namdafa tiger reserve which is in on the international border of india and myanmar the only ape in india hulok gibbon is found in namdafa tiger reserve okay let's move forward and talk about globa andersoni so this is a plant which has white flowers and it looks like it's dancing that is why it is known as dancing ladies swan flower and because it has white flowers it endures white flowers so we have put this for your understanding and it is found in sikkim himalayas near tista river valley region and darjeeling region note this down and we will talk about indian bison which is vulnerable in the iucn red list protected under the schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act and it is found in the western ghats in nagarpol and bandipur region and the first time population estimation exercise was held in nilgiri forest division let's move forward and talk about golden langur which is one of the primates 
intermits we have ape lemurs monkey and humans right so golden langur are endangered according to iucn red list protected under the schedule 1 and they come in a group of 3 to 15 members the male langur dominates the group okay and they are on the verge of extinction the reason is restricted distributed range they are found in a very restricted regions in the forest of southern bhutan and western assam and because of that other human activities such as encroachment in their areas is also one of the reason let's move forward and talk about himalayan brown bear which is also known as red bear indigenously so red bear is carnivorous that means it eats meat it is under the schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act and according to zoological survey of india 73% of their habitat will be lost by the year 2050 and they are found in the great himalayas the habitats are actually western himalayas himachal pradesh uttarakhand and jammu and kashmir they also hibernate in winter that means whenever winter there is a non set of winter they sleep in their caves protecting themselves from winters with their own body heat and fat distribution is such that it helps them to have their food as well moving on let's talk about asiatic wild dogs which are also known as dhol or koan alpinus they are under schedule 2 of the wildlife uh, wildlife protection act in schedule 2 part 1 okay so they have the highest population in india spread across western ghats central india and northeast india also their number is about 50 in the vyanath wildlife sanctuary in kerala which was established in the year 1973 and the kabini river flows through it okay because it is a part of the nilgiri biosphere reserve vyanath wildlife sanctuary moving forward we have bluefin mahashi which is this fish having blue blue fins okay so it is included in the list of least concern in the iucn red list tata power group has been working in order to conserve this also they are an indicator species i have already talked to you about the indicator species humpback mahashir are known as the tiger of the river tiger of the water the iucn status of humpback mahashir is critically endangered and they are found in the kaveri river we also have golden mahashir blue fin deccan mahashir red fin mahashir also chocolate mahashir and humpback mahashir we have already talked about so snake eel which is a fish looks like a snail as you can see it is not poisonous actually and it is found in the bay of bengal odisha and west bengal and name is proposed by scientists indian fringe lip eel okay moving forward let's talk about butea monosperma which is a medicinal tree and because of its color it is also known as flame of the forest forest fire palash dhak okay look at this okay and also known as it is also known as bastard tree and tisu the interesting fact about it is that it is useful for treating night blindness and on the death of a member from mitai tribe of manipur the wood of the tree is used when the body is unidentified okay let's move forward dhanu golwar sapota which has been recently transported to uk from the palghar district of maharashtra it is growing on calcareous soil the in the golwar village and that is why it has a very distinct taste and it is from the family sapodila or sapota you can look at the picture here okay so that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment continue with your revision and all the best